let's find out what is worth buying in the shop and what should you avoid. Now, we're going to start off with the event, the contraband event at the Brask, the pretty solid vehicle. So if you do get to those 500 coupons naturally, then that's what I would recommend picking up. The contraband container. Again, the problem with all these containers is that you might end up with something like an HWK30, which is absolute garbage, or a T20 HTC or anything of that sort that are very specific to the person, or you might end up with a 907 or something. So I wouldn't recommend this. Always buy your tanks directly, because then you actually know what you're getting. We also have another event, the Rewind event, and if you haven't gotten your K2 for free yet, like me, because I don't play the game anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, that man is a goober. Then I highly recommend still picking it up, because the K2 is a very good vehicle. We already looked at it in last week's shop review, so have a look at that. This is terrible. Like, very terrible, because first of all, it goes for these coupons, which it's way too many coupons here. Like, you can get the Barask, like, twice over with this amount of coupons, and you're getting basically nothing. So ignore the KBZ 50T throw. Remember, if the house doesn't win, the house is pretty bad at selling gambling. Yeah, there's that. And there's also the Caliban draw, and the Caliban is a meme vehicle, and that's about all the Caliban really is. And again, it is not a... Not even a gold draw, it is a coupon draw, and this is just a hilarious price. So let's have a look at the events. Not those just yet, but let's go all the way up here. Seven days of premium account, 250 gold. That's a pretty great deal. And then we also have the same like the vast resources. They're all pretty cheap. I mean, remember, these prices here, they're fake. They don't exist. They're just there to make you think that it's cheaper. Um, and then, you know, buy it. So ignore those prices, but things are strategic power. This is a pretty good deal um, for 12 bucks, 7.5k gold, which is going to be enough to get you a good tier 8, but it's not going to be enough to get you the KBZ 50T, which is a amazing vehicle that I highly recommend picking up for 18,500. That is a very good price with unlocked times 5 XPs in here. That is very good. So I highly recommend picking up the KBZ 50T. There pretty much isn't any better offer here. The 5A... Is still a terrible vehicle to pick it up. T22 is uh, fine, but you can get the KPZ 50T. Why would you need that? So there's that. Just get the KPZ 50T, basically. Then we have the Cobra, which um, it's a it's a meme tank at best. Don't recommend that one whatsoever. KPZ 70T used to be a very great vehicle a couple of years ago, but now it's very much there in the game. So T9, 12.5k. Could be a decent price for it if you want to collect it, but overall wouldn't really recommend it. MX30, 2000 less. Pretty solid vehicle. Want the tier 9 medium tank? This is the one to pick up. Only like there's only like two or three, I think, with a T55A, which is terrible, but this one is pretty good. So if you want it, pick it up there. Rogero, 500 gold less for a tier 8 than a tier 9. That is an awful price for the Brigero. But the KPZ isn't even worth mentioning. The T56 was sold cheaper in the past, so I don't really know what the point of this bundle is here. If you really want the vehicle, it's overpriced, not worth it. The Action X and TS60 are not good deals, they're not worth it. Um, the Bizonte could be a, a useful pickup. Obviously, it's a, basically a single shotgun with the um, the cuck shell, like the, the, the fake second shell that you can't use without destroying your DPM. Um, but overall, this is a pretty solid vehicle if you want to collect good heavies can be one of the picks right there i would ignore the canoniac panzer there is the wz121 gft that just makes this vehicle pointless t2020 pointless vehicle as well uh the gsol can be quite interesting 8k is a fair enough price for it it could be a little bit lower but it is a fair enough price obviously the vehicle it doesn't really have any armor the mobility is uh not that great um but it does have that two short auto loader that can make it work quite well but if you get the Barask, what's the point of this thing? Like, nah. It obviously has uh, no premium rounds, but it does have 268 standard penetration, which is pretty good for standard penetration. But um, overall, if you want to collect the thing, if you're a decent player, it can be worth it. There, Samoa's, it's okay. Like, it's an okay pickup. It's not the greatest in the world. If you have the T77, you don't need this thing. Um, if you don't have the T77, if you didn't buy the KV-5 and T77 bundle, over a couple of months ago, then you, you missed out. That's that's it. And then obviously tier 7, just ignore them. Uh, the TOG's a meme. If you want a meme, get the TOG, but that's, that's about it. And then the rest is just... This is about what the vehicle is worth. 
but it is a vehicle that is exclusive for, for fun, not for making crits or anything like that sort. Um, so if you don't have more than 3k gold and you really love light tanks, it could be a decent pickup. Right, there and the Britannia Panther was given away for free, so you're just wasting your money, just like you're wasting your money if you would buy the 1 to 1B. Then the Mighty Partners right here, they're just overpriced, so ignore that. And uh, the duck boxes, if you still have them, this is like the Christmas boxes, you fill them up, you buy them. These are pretty good, like in terms of value uh, on the gold, pretty solid right there. Um, these are going to be gone when the video comes out, so these are the, the biggest waste of money that I've have seen in the last couple of months because you can get a tier four to uh tier two tank which means that you will get a vehicle but you're probably not ever gonna get a match in that tank right like we're getting killed low tiers years ago um and now they're trying to sell low tier premium tanks that is hilarious and, and there's obviously other offers like the kari which wastes time and space so we're not even gonna talk about it and then we got these uh booster bundles now if you play tier 10 the maximum you can get if you win every battle is 4,400. So you just have to... Basically, the higher your win rate is, the more this makes sense uh, to get with the credit boosters. Because you can get, get the gold back to a certain degree um, if you win a lot. And then you just have... Basically, just pay nothing for the gold boosters. So... Uh, for the credit boosters. So the better you are, the more this makes sense. And then we have this bundle, which... Do they... Is it just me or do they get more expensive? Like, these used to be like 90 or something. And now they're 120, so, um, yeah, and also they include black box, which is not really much of value to add, but there are 200 times fives in here, which is enough for two or three tech trays. So if you're an oil baron and don't know what to do with your money, then uh, you could give it to Wargaming. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Like I already said, this is overpriced, not worth it. The MXM449 is solid. The Chrysler K is clumsy, but at the same time also somewhat solid, but 12k for these is too much. I would not recommend that bundle. 1 to 1B, like I said, waste of space, waste of money. That's gonna be gone. Like, you don't need this. This is a waste of money as well. And then, uh, this is as well. Like, these aren't good offers. Like, you get yourself a KBZ 50T and you just ignore, ignore all this crap. Right? And also ignore the camouflages because you can get something actually useful in the game for this gold price. And I believe I currently have, like, a personal offer for the, uh, T62 camo. If you get this, I mean, if you are somewhat wasteful with your money, 3,000 gold could otherwise get you a very long way, but you could also waste it on a pink camouflage. And remember, there is only one true pink camouflage, and that is this one. If you get this personal offer, it ain't bad. You can get it if you want to. Now, before I have a look at the vehicle, a reminder that the lottery has been drawn, so check your balls to see if they are filled. Uh, more balls? More balls? This vehicle is a 50 TP. That's about the way I can describe it. And even if we compare the statistic right here and also the armor profile, it is very obvious that we just have somebody copy the 50 TP and slightly tweak the statistics. I mean, 10 less alpha damage, 2 less penetration, 100 less DPM. Uh, slightly better aim time, one degree more gun depression, and the two horsepower to weight less. So, yeah, like, you're not g gaining anything by owning this vehicle. It's like the Lorraine 50T, where, like, okay, or, like, even the A Phase 1, where, like, the entry level to obtaining the vehicle is so much higher than what the tank's actual value is. Or, for example, like, an IS-6 Fearless, you know, like, the vehicle is, it's just an IS-6, but it has a camel on it that looks shit. So... You know, there are vehicles that are simply not worth it because they're rare, right? Because a vehicle's rare doesn't mean it's worth it. In the case of, like, a, the fearless vehicles, you, you actually have to play very well to, to get them, so there's some value in that. But in the case of this vehicle, or in the case of, like, like a, like a Kari as well, we have to, like, buy thousands of gold worth of crates to get a mediocre tank destroyer. There is no point, right? Because especially right now, in these events, all of these hundreds of events seemingly that are going on right now, you have the free STV81 subscription that you could have gotten, and I hope you did get the STV. You can still get the K2, which is a great vehicle to have, especially if you're a free-to-play player, if you're a beginner. That's a great one to have because it's free. So you don't have to spend any money on this thing to, to get further in the game. What I would recommend doing 
in this event is quite simple. You, if you can and want to. You buy enough gold, which is about 55 euros worth of gold. You buy enough gold uh, to get the 500 uh, coupon things. With that, you get the Barask. Now, with the gold that you just bought, you also get the KPZ-50T, which means that you have two great vehicles now that are not the easiest to play, but that are very good at the game. And then you have some gold left over. You could try something like a G-Sor or an AMX-30 uh, um, or even a heavy tank like the Bizonte. That's my recommendation there. And then just ignore that this vehicle has ever existed. Because remember, scarcity is not value in a game where everything has the same value, which is zero. Like, you can't get rid of the tank, you can't sell the vehicle ever again. So in that case, scarcity has no value, right? Because you can't just resell it. So here's the thing. This vehicle is a 50 TP, and I do recommend grinding the 60 TP line that includes the 50 TP. So if you want to feel how this vehicle plays, just grind the Polish heavies and if you get your gold in a way that uh, includes times five boosters, you could grind this line with those times five boosters and then use your gold to get the brass, to get the KBZ 50T, for example. Obviously, if you like tank destroyers, it's, it's not really a lot of great offers there. The Canoniac Panzer is fine. I mean, it's obviously completely paper. Um, it is, so it is quite challenging to play, and uh, there's that. But uh, yeah, that's about the only thing that I, that's, that's sort of good like this is not a great time for tank destroyer players which i don't care about because remember i don't i don't do tank destroyer advice i don't care about tank destroyers so just take that with a grain of salt but basically that's my recommendation buy enough gold get the barask get yourself the kpz 50t um the duck boxes would also be a good way to obtain that gold if you don't care about the barask specifically and you just want the kpz 50t or you hate gun depression, so you go for the T-22 medium, for example. So, there are a lot of great options. Like, the free option as well, like the STV-81 subscription, like the K-2, that's for free. There are a lot of great options, a lot of great things you can get at the moment in the shop. You don't need stuff like this. You don't need the Lorraine 50T, you don't need this. You don't need crap crate tanks like the Kari that are completely overpriced. Just enjoy the good stuff. Because there are still there is still good stuff in the game. Right? There is still good stuff in the game. Not everything is yet lost to the onslaught of the gambling crate. So as long as there are still decent offers in the shop, you don't need to gamble. You don't need this. With that said, thank you very much for watching.